Don't move. And what do you think you're doing? Carving a name for myself in history with the ultimate energy source. Open your eyes, you freak. Your precious creation is nothing more than another weapon to be misused. <laughs> you seem to have a small degree of superficial intelligence. It's too bad that it is wasted on one who is about to die. Rick, our target has been secured. Report here immediately. Sorry to interrupt your lecture, Doc. You were saying? Yes, I was saying. I discovered how the third energy could affect space if it ran unchecked three years ago. I thought that the energy had the ability to transfer selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil, hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. <laughs> the only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging on. Here, take this. But this contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it! It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail.
Yeah. <laughs> 